The Dallas Cowboys, you know, the Cowboys always have high expectations every single season. It seems like every year Cowboy fans say, this is going to be the year, and then they end up disappointing. But 2023 really could be the year that the Dallas Cowboys win it all. And if there was a year for Cowboy fans to be super confident about their Super Bowl chances, 2023 is the season for that but what if the Dallas Cowboys pull a classic Dallas Cowboys and they underachieve this year what if Dallas makes it to the playoffs and they have an early playoff exit what would that mean for Mike McCarthy's future because think about it he fired former offensive coordinator Kellen Moore and what I believe was a scapegoat move Cowboy fans have their opinion about it. They say he wasn't a good OC, but I do think that you have to place a fair amount of criticism on Mike McCarthy and Dak Prescott. And the thing about Mike McCarthy is that he's not somebody that's able to get it done in the big moments. And you look at Jerry Jones, this dude is hungrier than ever to win another Super Bowl. The last time the Cowboys won the Super Bowl, We were still watching replays on VHS tapes. And if Mike McCarthy can't at least get Dallas out of the first round, do you think he returns in 2024? Because I don't. And there are some fans who speculate that Dan Quinn didn't take any head coaching jobs because he believed that maybe if Mike McCarthy ends up getting fired, he'll be the next man up to replace him. Now, like I said, that is speculation. That is the word on the street. But if the Dallas Cowboys can't go past the first round of the playoffs, it would be a massive disappointment. Think about everything that the Cowboys have done this offseason. You trade for Brandon Cooks to give Dak Prescott another weapon. That was one of your Achilles heels last season, that outside of CeeDee Lamb, you didn't have another weapon for Dak Prescott to throw the football to. Brandon Cooks is one of the most underrated receivers of the past decade, and you pair him with C.D. Lamb, plus you got Michael Gallup, you have a really good receiving core. Your offensive line should be really good as long as everybody can stay healthy. Tony Pollard is primed for a breakout year with Ezekiel Elliott being gone, and this is the most talented defense in the NFL. I think that the Cowboys are going to have the number one defense in the league this year with the addition of Stephon Gilmore, you draft Mozzie Smith, and if Dallas ends up not going far in the playoffs, I don't see how Mike McCarthy possibly could keep his job. The Dallas Cowboys have underachieved For well over the last four years. They always have one of the top rosters in the NFC. And yet, they've yet to make it even to a conference title game. This is a big year for Mike McCarthy. You could consider this a make or break year for Mike McCarthy. Jerry Jones, it was a little bit of a shocker that he allowed Mike McCarthy to part ways with Kellen Moore. Kellen Moore kind of was seen as a golden boy in Jerry Jones' eyes. There were many people who were high on Kellen Moore. And when you look at how the way the offense kind of unraveled, you can definitely understand why they opted to go with the decision. But Kellen Moore, I kind of feel like it was a scapegoat move. And when you look at coaches who make those kinds of firings, it often means that they feel a little bit of pressure. And Mike McCarthy has probably the toughest job in the NFL. Coaching for the Dallas Cowboys, the most popular team in the NFL, is the hardest job in all the sports. You have all the media attention. You always have high expectations year after year. And you expect to compete for a Super Bowl every single season. And if Dallas isn't even able to make it, to the conference championship this year, it would be considered a disappointment in a lot of Dallas Cowboy fans' eyes. And if they lose early in the postseason, I don't think Mike McCarthy returns next year. Now, we don't know who ends up becoming the next head coach. Maybe it's Dan Quinn, maybe it's somebody else, but the Dallas Cowboys losing in a wild card round this year would be a massive disaster And there probably would be some massive changes. And maybe not just that head coach, but think about Dak Prescott. 
What if Dak Prescott has another performance like he did against the 49ers last season when he came up short in the big moments? Do the Dallas Cowboys look to trade Dak Prescott and move on from him? I know there's a lot of Cowboy fans that you can't say anything wrong about Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott is never the reason for the Dallas Cowboys not being able to get it done. But sometimes you might have to make some changes. Go out there and bring in a new QB. There's nothing wrong with switching things up. And for Jerry Jones, this is the most hungriest that he's ever been to win a championship. And just losing in the first round of the playoffs, it just wouldn't sit well with him. And I don't think Mike McCarthy would return if that was to happen. But you guys let me know. What do you guys think would happen if the Cowboys have an early playoff exit down in the comment section down below?